Hey y'all, I want to do one uh, today. This is a blast from, from the past, and this is for like um, not my original subbies, but um, many of them. Um, so it is. <laughs> Look over my nails. I need to get them. I just clipped them down. So now I gotta, you know, get the finger polish remover and stuff. I, my nails can get really, really, really long, and I just always clip them. So that's what's happening today. So anyway, um, if you've been noticing on the channel, I've been covering a lot of different uh, content, but I do want to get back to my original book which was um, the book of Bizarre Truth. And uh, what really caught my eye today was um, Abraham Lincoln. You know, Abraham Lincoln sees his own ghost. And I thought, what? You ever heard of that? I hadn't. So once again, the book of Bizarre Truth is going to tell us something we didn't know, never even thought about. No one's ever brought it up that I know of. So here we go. Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln sees his own ghost. Um, the morning after Abraham Lincoln was first elected president, he had a premonition about his death. Did you know that? He had a premonition about his death. Who does that? Do people do that anymore? You know, did JFK have a premonition? Did his wife have a premonition? A dream? Anything? I wonder. Put it in the comments if you've ever heard of any such a thing. Okay, so here we go. I wonder if Kobe had a dream. Or Vanessa had a dream. Or Colby's mom. I'm just curious. Did Prince see himself? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, right? It's bizarre. <laughs> okay. The morning after Abraham Lincoln, the morning after Abraham Lincoln was first elected president, the morning after he was first elected president. Huh. He had a premonition about his death. He saw two reflections of himself in a mirror. One image was how he usually appeared, fit and healthy. In the other reflection, his face was pale and ghostly. Okay. Lincoln and his wife believe it predicted that he wouldn't complete his second term in office. You know, that happens a lot. You know, where you get a, a spiritual message, but you really don't know what it means. What does it mean? How is it that you can get a message and still be confused like, what's it talking about? Uh, what am I supposed to do? How are you supposed to handle this kind of stuff? Let me know if y'all know. Let me know because I don't know myself. <sighs> okay. Later, Lincoln saw his own funeral in a dream. He said that he was in the White House, but it was strangely quiet um, and filled with mourners. Walking through the halls, he entered the East Room where to his horror, he saw a body wrapped in funeral vestments and surrounded by soldiers. Oh my God. He said he, he approached one of the soldiers to find out what had happened. Who is dead in the White House? Lincoln demanded in his dream. The president, the soldier replied, he was killed by an assassin. A few days later, that fateful day when he attended, well, a few days later, a few days later, 
that fateful day when he attended Ford Theater for this last time, President Lincoln called a meeting of his cabinet members. He told them that they would have important news the following morning. He also explained that he'd had a strange dream, one that he'd had twice before. Where did it come from? Who sent him the dream? He saw himself alone and adrift in a boat without oars. That was all he said and the cabinet members left the president's office with a very uneasy feeling. But none of them knew what to do. You see what I'm saying? Nobody knew what to do. The following morning, they received news that the president had been assassinated. What do you do? If you're watching this, that could mean that this is going to happen to you. What have you been dreaming about? Hmm. Lincoln's apparition. Lincoln never leaves. Okay. Now, these are some of the stories that I've heard about um, Abraham Lincoln, that his ghost is still at the White House. I don't know if it's true or not. It, uh is he at the White House? Is he popping in and out? I don't know. Okay, he says, Lincoln's apparition has been seen clearly by hundreds, including Eleanor Roosevelt's maid, who saw him sitting on a bed removing his boots. Poor God. I mean, if this is true, I feel sorry for his ghost. I feel sorry for his ghost. But clearly, he didn't belong to Satan, because if he did, you know, <laughs> Satan going to get his pound of flesh. Believe, believe you me. He ain't going to let you uh, uh, lay about. He gets what belongs to him, and he don't wait. He don't wait for it. Soon as soon as your body drop, he ready to, to collect what's his. You remember the story about him? arguing with the angel about Moses' body because he felt like, because Moses took credit for bringing water out of the rock and God wouldn't let him go into the promised land. When he died, um, there was an angel that came to get Moses and Satan was arguing with him. And the angel was like, you need to take that up with God. I'm here to do my job. Whatever you're talking about, I ain't trying to hear that. For real, it's in the Bible. <laughs> it's in the Bible. Google that, Google that. So it says, um, Franklin Roosevelt's valet ran out of the White House after encountering a spirit. Okay. Calvin Coolidge's wife saw Lincoln's face reflected in a window. Oh my God, this is just horrible. Do you hear me? This is horrible. For a spirit to be stuck here in limbo, or what does that mean? <clears throat> let's let's look it up, shall we? I'm just really curious about it. Um, hey, Google. Is Lincoln's ghost still at the White House? Has Lincoln's ghost been seen lately at the White House?
you know, what I'm thinking about is um, Reagan, um, his wife, Nancy, because she talked to the ghost a lot. And I wonder, is she, uh, have anybody seen her at the White House or Reagan? You know, I wonder. I wonder. Y'all pray for me. I just got um, hit up about a project and it pays eight grand a month. I really need like 10, but I'll take eight. Pray that I get that because that would be awesome. Okay. Let me just do a generic search, okay? Lincoln's ghost. At first I said, you know, has anyone seen Lincoln's ghost um, lately at the White House? You know? But it says, uh, wow, this is certain. Okay, Lincoln's ghost, what's it say? There's been several, oh, not just, just, not just Lincoln. Okay. Lincoln was the 16th president from 1861 to 1865. And there was somebody who captured a picture of Lincoln's ghost in the White House. Crazy. And the ghosts haunt the president's. Um, is the White House haunted? There's a lot on this here, okay? So, let's see. It says, um, President Lincoln has been seen in many places in the White House. Wow. Did you visit the White House when you were a kid, a, a, a field trip? You know, they don't let you go everywhere. And that's something, it's supposed to be the people's house, but when you go to visit, you can only go to certain places within the White House. You just can't, you know, make yourself at home and go wherever and look at whatever. They won't let you. It's crazy to me. So, but most frequently he's been seen in the bedroom. Um, although the late president's bed is now in this room during his lifetime, it was in the cabinet room in which he signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Hmm. Abigail Adams used to hang laundry or clothes on clotheslines in the White House's East Room. This don't make no sense to me, do it? Why would you hang up your clothes inside the building? What is wrong with people? Okay. Her ghost appears there regularly in a cap and wrapped in a shawl. She's usually carrying laundry and checking to see if her laundry is dry. Dorothea Dolly Madison defends the rose garden that she designed and planted. Well, not against Melania, obviously, because Melania uh, redesigned the rose garden and Dolly ain't did nothing about it. Hmm. What about that? What about that? Okay. When Woodrow Wilson's second wife, Edith, ordered gardeners to dig up the garden for new plants, Dolly's apparition appeared and allegedly insisted that no one was going to touch her garden. Like I said, Melania has. So what? The landscaping ceased and Dolly's roses remain exactly as they were when the Madisons lived in the White House in the early 1800s. Okay, so let's find out. We can look that up quickly. So let's see. All right. Did Melania Trump dig up Dolly Madison's roses in the Rose Garden?
All it says is, is she tore out trees and vibrant flowers in the rose garden. Okay. Okay, let me ask Twitter. I'm going to ask Twitter. Okay. Is First Lady uh, Dolly Madison um, haunting Melania Trump? Regarding her rose garden, has anyone heard? Question mark. At Biden Harris twenty twenty. Wouldn't it be something that Dolly Madison made sure that uh, Donald Trump loses because Melania um, touched her garden? Wouldn't that be something? Hmm. Okay, so let's move on quickly. Ghosts of presidents, families, and foes. Abigail Adams. Oh, well, we already did that. Okay. Um, Abraham Lincoln's son, Willie, died in February 1862 after a brief illness. Soon after, the first lady began holding seances. I heard about that. In the White House to communicate with him. The president was equally obsessed with his son's death and had his coffin reopened at least twice just to look at him. Jesus Christ. Willie's apparition. What if President Lincoln got shot because he kept on opening up the ca uh, 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 coffin of his son? That's desecrated. It's disrespectful. It's, you don't do it. Maybe that's what caused his assassination. You don't do that. Willie's apparition has been seen at the White House regularly since then, most often appearing in the second floor bedrooms where his presence was witnessed by Lyndon Johnson's daughter, Linda. However, Linda's bedroom may have been haunted by other spirits as well. Harry Truman's mother died in that room, and Linda used to report unexplained footsteps in the bedroom. Sometimes her phone would ring in the middle of the night and when she answered, no one was on the line. That's something else. You know that, right? That's something else. Okay. Also, on the second floor, people have heard the ghost of Francis Cleveland crying. Jesus. Perhaps we live in a time when her husband, Grover, was diagnosed with cancer. One very out-of-place spirit appears to be a British soldier from around 1814 when the White House was sieged and burned. The uniformed soldier looks lost and is holding a torch. When he realizes that he's been spotted, he looks alarmed and vanishes. The White House oldest ghost. Real quick, David Burns may be the oldest ghost at the White House. He donated the land on which the house was built. Oh! David Burns, okay? Uh, one day, Franklin Roosevelt heard his name being called, and when he replied, the voice said that he was Mr. Burns. FDR's valet, Cesar, Cesar Carrera, told a similar story. Carrera was in the yellow oval room when he heard a soft, distant voice say, I'm Mr. Burns. When Carrera looked, no one was there. Later, during the Truman years, a guard at the White House also heard a soft voice announce himself as Mr. Burns. 
The guard expected to see Truman's Secretary of State, James Burns, but no one appeared. What's more, the guard checked the roster and learned that Burns had been in the build, hadn't been in the building all that day. The White House may be America's most haunted public building. I doubt that. I doubt that. <laughs> Let's see. Ghosts are seen there day and night. On the White House's website, staff members talk about their regular ghostly encounters. In the words of Harry Truman, the White House is haunted, sure as shooting. Boom, boom, bang, bang. <laughs> that was good, right? That's the book of bizarre truths. Okay, I got to go. I'm over 20 minutes. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.